it's that time of year my friends and the first time i'm actually kind of doing this officially on the channel but i'm actually going to be covering a few things from san diego comic-con it's thursday paramount's going to be doing their big thing with their movies there's no sonic 3 trailer i'm just going to start off with that but for the most part for what they got for today i feel like okay you got at least interested in two of your main properties for right now which are mainly animated the first one i'm going to talk about is transformers one and for the most part i'm not too into this version of the transformers because i feel like okay you're replacing a bit of the voices this feels a little more like it's aimed for kids but if i'm gonna be honest with you the way they're promoting this transformers movie i feel like okay there's something special here because i feel like yeah we're going back to animation with transformers and i don't think they've done a animated transformer since the actual 90s movie but i feel like okay going into this we're gonna see the origin of optimus and megatron as they become friends and then turn into enemies. So I feel like based off what I remember, I feel like, okay, this had a bit more slapstick in the trailer. This felt like it's more of a comedic tone, even though they're trying to display, okay, this is a serious movie. But for the most part, I'm like, eh, this ain't going to be for me, but at least this is going to be a couple introductions to these characters for the kids of today. And I feel like, yeah, that's fine for them. Let me just stick with the actual live action movies. And once that GI Joe Transformers crossover hits, I already know I'm going to be in the theater for that one, but with this, I'm going to give it a chance, but hopefully this new trailer or the actual reveal they have for this movie, I'm like, okay, let me see that turn, because that turn, when Megatron hits and he finds out what his lineage is, that's got to be the main focus of this, but enough talk. Let's get to the trailer. Before we were enemies. Ooh. We were like brothers. You ready? Always ready. Let's punch in. Hey, watch where you're going. What did you say? It's not like he can transform. Hey, Darkwing. Oh, my finger can transform. Guess which one? Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. I appreciate you having my back. No matter what. I wonder, is this movie going to be PG or PG-13 with some of the things they've been using in this movie? For jokes, specifically. Fantastic! It's time to show them we are more than meets the eye. A cave with teeth. Nothing scary about that. Holy Primus. I see strength in you. Take these and access your full potential. We can transform now! How do we use these things? Come on! My head! How will you choose to use this power? We're gonna see him in his gun form? Oh, we roll out. tanked. What? Louder. Transform and roll out! I want to help build a better world. Like you said, we can be so much more. Maybe it's just me, but he's different. Yeah, yeah, no, I picked up on that. I picked up on that too. Okay. What happened to my best friend? Burn it down! All of it! We have to stop him. We could have built the future together. I don't think so. Decepticons! Rise up and come on! Awesome! That's what I'm talking about! Now is the time for us to stand up together as one. Star scream and your shock wave and sound wave. Enough, guys. Raise your hand if wave is in your name. There's a lot of waves. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. To be honest, I feel like this part of it. I wouldn't say part of it, but I'm gonna say most of it. Most of the stuff they've been showing in these trailers is a bit more comedic, 
especially in the beginning scene where you see Optimus almost try to flip off whoever his supervisor is. But if I'm being honest with this animation style, it's a bit on the nose to get used to. I'm like, uh, yeah, it looks a bit cartoony. I know that we've seen other versions of this look good, like in Transformers Prime and mainly most recently the Netflix trilogy for Transformers War on Cybertron. But if I'm getting honest, I'm like, e this might not be for me, but for the most part, at least they're going to try and do the origin story. And for the most part, in the show that we actually see them in their actual almost designs because we see Optimus with the red and blue Megatron in his full silver form. And he actually has the gun on one side. I'm like, yeah, with, despite all the Michael Bay stuff and what they try to do with Megatron, because I know Megatron is supposed to be like the most powerful for the for this specific version. Since we're going to see, OK, we're going to see this Autobot, or we, we don't know, is a Decepticon, go into a Descent to Madness, and lose his brother, or should I say friend, that became his enemy. This is going to be confusing, because I feel like they're both enemies at once. I know Transformers fans, or most of us are actually going to be wondering when is going to be the next actual adaptation for live action, but with this, I'm like, eh, we're going to stick with animation for a while, and for the most part, this reminds me, I want to say exactly, but it reminds me of the next thing we're going to talk about, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem style, because I feel like, yeah, this feels a bit more immature as for kids, and most of us, since we're like grown, we're like, we like animation, but we like serious animation, instead of the jokey joke once in a while, but at least acknowledge that, okay, this is going to be for the kids, but at least there are going to be something in here for us, but I feel like, yeah, they're taking it a bit of Mutant Mayhem style, where they didn't take the comedy first, but they actually went with the story. I know the story is serious enough, and if I'm being honest, as if I finished the panel, I saw that they actually screened it for certain people, and I'm like, oh, so they came out of this saying, oh yeah, the trailers aside, the trailers show you what they want you to show, but once you get into the movie and into the main plot, which is Optimus versus Megatron, you're actually going to see a whole different movie than what we're seeing in these trailers, and I'm like, okay, at least that gives me a little bit of hope, because as long as it's not going to be all jokey joke once in a while... At least I can say, okay, going into this, I'm going to see the actual origin. And it's not just going to be for kids and childish humor once in a while. So I feel like, okay, trailer aside, it gives me a little bit of hope here in what they've been saying about Transformers 1. But if I'm being honest with you, the animation aside, I guess you could say this trailer is more than meets the eye. All right, you guys, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. All my social media is down in the description below. And this is the only thing I'm going to talk about for San Diego Comic-Con. I'm going to be talking about the main ones I got for right now because I'm just going to forward, depending on what order you're watching this in, because it's not going to make any sense. I've deleted all my social media platforms, and the only thing I'm sticking with right now is basically YouTube for Thursday. I might get you a couple videos on Saturday because I'm like, okay, after 3 p.m. today when Deadpool and Wolverine releases, I'm done for right now. You're going to get Transformers and you're going to get Ninja Turtles today. You're going to get whatever is posted on Friday and Saturday, exactly on Saturday. And my Deadpool and Wolverine review and spoiler review on Saturday because I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to get spoiled. I'm going to log off today. Whatever you're going to get, you're going to get. So I might as well just acknowledge this now. So like that when you watch the next video and say, where's your review of Deadpool and Wolverine? It's coming on Saturday. All right, you guys, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. All my social media is down in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.